Hi, I'm Iman Palm, and I'm your host for LA News, a trusted source for city and state trending topics. Two weeks ago, I spoke with you about how parents and students felt about the Los Angeles Unified School District vaccine mandate for students. This week, we will continue discussing that topic, hearing what the experts say about the new guidelines, talk about California governor's new requirements for students within the state, and chat with Mark Lewis, an instructional assistant at Redondo Beach Unified School District, about his take on the vaccine requirements. All this coming up on LA News. The LA Times announced on September 9th that the Los Angeles Unified School District, or LUSD for short, will require vaccine mandates for students 12 and over. This announcement was the first such mandate among the nation's largest school system and a decision that triggered immediate pushback, as reported by the Times. LAUSD board members Jackie Goldberg and Monica Garcia share their reasons as to why the district is requiring vaccinations for students. I see this as a community necessity to protect the children under 12 who cannot be vaccinated. The vaccine will help us avoid a winter like last year. The vaccine for me and my family has provided protection and uh, to be able to just go on with our lives. Almost a month later, on October 1st, California Governor Gavin Newsom announced that the state will require all students 12 and older to be vaccinated against COVID-19. A statewide requirement for in-person instruction for all of our children. We intend to do that once the FDA has fully approved the vaccine, which will give us time to work with districts, give us time to work with parents and educators. We're all exhausted by this pandemic. We're exhausted by the seasonality of it. We're exhausted by these variants, the mutations. Mark Lewis, an instructional teacher at an elementary school within the Redondo Beach Unified School District, is vaccinated against the virus and is supportive of the student vaccine mandates. I agree with it. I do think vaccinations are safe and I've seen um, just the whole process of working in a school, seeing students have to go out either because they are sick or potentially are sick. And they, we do as much as we can to uh, limit spread, but kids are kids. They're going to they eat together, they play together. There's a lot of interaction with people. I just want to get vaccinated because I, it basically it'd be, I felt more comfortable being around people and being to to being vaccinated, I trusted that it, it worked. Due to his own vaccination status and his support for the governor's student vaccine mandate, Mark feels better going to work daily knowing these guidelines will be enforced. I would definitely feel safer going to work because um, I, again, I had teachers I directly work with have to get out because they were okay, okay, did get COVID. And, and we don't, not sure on any students because if they, they, they this student gets it, it's classified, but many students, you know, they'll be out of, for a week because of potential illness. Um, I myself am not too worried of my own health, but more the health of everybody else around me and people I interact with. And that's a wrap for this podcast. Thanks for tuning in to LA News. I'm your host, Iman Palm. Catch us next time when we discuss more trending topics across the Golden State. Until then. Mm -hmm.